Glenn Ridge. Thank you very much, Peter Smith. Sir. Hi, how are you? Thank you, very kind of you. Hello and uh, welcome to Sale. Nice to have you with us on this, the last night of our heats in our family challenge. And we've had a great few nights to start the week off. Some great quizzing and some wonderful games too. And tonight is going to be no exception, I can assure you. Let's get into it though. We have three very eager families over here. And to introduce them to you, would you please welcome Nikki Buckley. Hi, Nikki. Thank you. Haven't you been fun so far? Well, it certainly has. It's been a wonderful. Uh, well, well, the games all the way along have been really quite close. Yeah, the kids and, have been uh, great the too. The kids have been so spontaneous mm. and come up with some great answers too. Yeah. And of course, at the end of it, at the end of the whole series, we have a fantastic prize too, mm, which we we'll uh, tell you more about later in the show. It's wonderful. All right, three families over here. Nick, who's joining us tonight? Okay. Well, our first challenges are a father and daughter team. Rod is a nursery manager whose ambition is to speak fluent Italian, and Lauren is mad about Seinfeld. From Diamond Creek in Victoria, we welcome the Young family. Hello, Rod. Hello, Hi, Len. And our second challenges are a grandfather and grandson team. Len is an architectural draftsman who enjoys pottering in the garden, while Anton has a passion for basketball and would love to be a coach one day. From Heathcote in New South Wales, please welcome the Wiltshire family. Hello, Len and Anton. And our third challenges are a mother and daughter team. Rhonda dreams of soaring through the clouds in a hot air balloon and Bree's ambition is to be a best-selling author. From Deer Park in Victoria, let's welcome the Robertson family. Hello, Rhonda and Bree. Nice to have you with us too. Now, Rhonda, you work in the stock exchange, I believe. A stockbroker. Oh, yes. Uh, yep. Johnson Taylor they are. They're in um, Melbourne. Yep. I've been there for four and a half years and I quite enjoy it. Any good tips as to what we should no, buy? No, I'm in the back office, unfortunately, so they really keep the good tips to oh, themselves. Oh, you hear whispers. Oh, would have to. <laughs> hey, good luck tonight, Rhonda. Thanks very much. Yes, good luck, Rhonda. Now, Bree, what type of a, a book would you like to be a best-selling author of? I like to write thriller and holler, horror. Holler. <laughs> have you written anything or put, you yeah, know, I've written two yet? stories called The Haunted Box and Haunted Box to Katrina Morgana. Fabulous. Oh, well good. done. How many words about? A lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good luck with that, Bree. Yeah, now, Len, how is the um, gardening going? I believe you like bonsais and orchids? Oh, I've got all sorts of things. Yeah. It's rather a busy time at the moment, actually. In the do you keep time. a lot? The bonsais, how, do, how are they, you know, to grow? They're quite delicate, aren't they? Oh, they are, yes. But, uh, you've really got to keep on to them. Keep Guess it's the same them. as anything else, isn't it? Practice, yes. for sure. Now, Len, you've got Anton, your son, uh, grandson with you. How many grandchildren do you have? Three. Have three. Yeah. What's he like as a granddad, Anton? No, he's good. He's good? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. Now, I, where did I read it here? You want to either be a genetic engineer or a basketball coach? Yep. Uh, Which would you really prefer? I'd uh, much rather prefer to be a basketball coach because I really like basketball and I like playing it. And, good. Um, yeah. That it's sounds a good like sport. it might be easier to achieve. Well, it certainly <laughs> would. <laughs> hey, good luck tonight, Anton and Len. Thank How you. are you, Rod? Thanks, Glenn. You'd like to uh, speak fluent Italian? I would like to. Yes. Any reason you want to go over there? Or? Uh, yeah, I'd like to go to Italy one day and uh, enjoy cooking Italian food. So yeah. uh, it'd be handy. beautiful country. You yeah. worked over there, didn't you? Um, Travelled around Italy was yeah modelling around Europe, which was great okay. fun. Yeah. Lovely part of the world. Hey, good luck with all that, Rod. Thank and good you. luck tonight. Yes, Thank good you. luck, Rod. Now, Lauren, you're mad about Seinfeld. Have you been a follower since the beginning? Um, no, no, I haven't. Just caught on to it, yeah. did you? Yeah, <laughs> Who's your favourite character? Um, probably Kramer. Yeah. yeah he's Isn't he a dag? Yeah. Dear old Kramer. Now, uh, what school do you go to, Lauren? Um, St. Helena Secretary. Do you want to say hello to your school friends? Yeah, um, hi everyone in 9J. So there you 9J. go. 9J, gosh, that's a... God, that's a lot. Yeah, a lot of nines. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, Rod and Lauren. In fact, good luck to all of our families. We're going to get into it. $20 starting yeah. money. Uh, we'll see you in the gift shop. Yeah, you will. Good luck, everyone. And keeping in mind that trip I was talking to you about from Travel Land, combined with the BMW 318i, the BMW is worth $51,230 worth. The uh, whole prize, including the trip, is nearly $100,000 to the winning family at the end of the challenge. So that's a great prize. All right, here we go with the first question. Rhyming with duster is which word meaning to round up sheep and cat? Len. Muster. That's correct, sheep and cattle. The permanent memory of a computer where files and programs are stored is called the what disk or drive? Len. Hard disk. Yes. Consisting mainly of the ribs and their connective tissues is the enclosing wall of the chest called the rib watts. Rod. Cage. Correct. Here's a visual question, so look at your monitor. This Australian swimmer is married to which former Ironman Rod? Grant Kenny. That's correct. A picture there of Lisa Curry Kenny. What is the two word name of the island of northwestern Europe that comprises England, Scotland, and Brie? UK. No, and Wales. Unfortunately, we can only accept Great Britain there. Which thick perennial grass is cultivated in tropical and subtropical regions for its sweet sap, a major source of sugar? 
Len. Sugar cane. Correct. Get shot time and Len and Anton playing very, very well at the moment. You're in the lead by $5. Uh, you also have a lead of $20 over the Robertsons. So, Len and Anton, you can buy here with Nikki and a very special friend of ours. Yes, guys, now you can bowl them over like Maxi here, score goals like the Australian hockey team or shoot like our winning netball girls when you use this sporting equipment, including a Ridgeback cricket bat and cover, Kevlar hockey stick, netball and sports bag to carry your gear and it's normally $668 tonight, $6 from Kookaburra Sport and Sale of the Century. And it's great to have Maxie Walker with us. Tangles, how are you, Max? Fantastic. Yeah, you're doing Thank very, you. very well there. It's now, got a bit of talent turning, young fella. Certainly has. Now, you've put pen to paper with an, a very, very funny man, Brian Doyle. And if you want to check out your news agent's bookshop, check this book out. It's very funny, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sports jokes, uh, 520 pages, around 1,200 jokes. And, and he is a very funny man, yeah. Brian Doyle. Fantastic. Been What's one of your favourites in there, Max? Can you well, remember one? What about croquet? You don't often get a croquet joke, do you? Croquet is a game played by people that find chess too stimulating. Ba boom <laughs> There you go. That's in the book. <laughs> Len and Anton, you can buy here all this gear. Uh, we want just $6 for it. I'll tell you what, I'll bring it down to $5. One question. Going once. No, thanks. No. Going twice. No, thanks. Not interested? No. Going three times? No sale. No, no sale, so there you go. Maxie, thanks for joining us. Tango, sorry. Fantastic. Keep an eye out for the book and good luck uh, to yourself and Brian Doyle with that. That's great. Only way to go. Keep smiling, keep laughing. There you go. I'll catch you later. <laughs> thanks, Max. So the score's not changing as we continue with the questions. A human pregnancy usually lasts about how many months? Anton. Uh, nine. Yes. To discard what is valued along with that considered valueless is to throw out the baby with Anton. Ah, uh, the cot. <laughs> with the what? The bath water. In rugby, opposing forwards pack together and push in formation in which method of restarting play? Anton. Scrum. Correct. First fame game for the night, $10 being placed behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? The youngest of nine children, I was born in the United States in 1966 and was six when I first appeared on stage with my brothers doing impersonations. Three years later, my ability to mimic Cher and Mae West impressed TV producers who signed me to appear in a number of television series including Fame, Good Times and Different Strokes. At 16, my self-titled debut album had limited success, but four years later, I released the huge selling Control, which included the number one single, When I Think of You. After signing with Virgin Records in the third highest deal in recording history, I released the hugely popular album Janet, which resulted in a grueling world's... Anton. Janet Jackson. I am Janet Jackson, that's correct. Of course, the sister to Michael. So, Anton, well answered. Uh, you and your grandfather have a lead of $10 at the moment over uh, Rod and Lauren. Uh, 25 over Brian and Rhonda. You can increase that lead if you pick correctly. But firstly, our famous faces tonight are... Making a meal of lunchtime variety, Kerry ann Kennelly. Midday with Kerry ann Wilbur Wilde. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. Edwina Gattenby. A current affair. David Rain. Getaway. Claire Hampson. Claire comes from Lunia in New South Wales and uh, she enjoys painting and playing cricket with her baby brother. And it's nice to have you with us, Claire. Rick Burnett. Real TV. Margaret Bates. Berg's Backyard. Jeff McMullen. 60 Minutes. And Joe Hall. National 9 News in Melbourne. So, Anton and Len, who would you like from our famous faces? Um, Wilbur Wilde, please. Good luck. Here's Willie from Hey Hey. Scented with essential oils, these aromatherapy products are all natural, stylish, and even quirky. Valued at $253 from Bloom. So that's a wonderful prize, Anton and Len. Not the money, that stays hidden. At the moment, the Wiltshires are in the lead, leading by $10, and we'll be back shortly with round two. <laughs> on sale in our family challenge. At the moment, the Wiltshires are in the lead on $40. The Youngs, are Rod and Lauren on $30, and uh, the Robertsons, Rhonda and Bree, on $15, as we go into round two. Timon, Shazu, Shenzi, Rafiki, Pumba, Lauren. The Lion King. That's exactly right. Mufasa and Simba are some of the characters in which Disney's animated feature. Fame game, $15 being placed on the fame game board. Who am I? The son of a former high-ranking army officer, I was born in 1975, was two when I first appeared on television, and three years later featured in a segment on That's Incredible. Recently becoming an investor in the all-star sports cafe chain, I... Tiger Woods. Anton, that's exactly what we needed. Tiger Woods, the great golfer. Well answered. So, Anton, you once again have the opportunity to pick from our famous faces, or your grandfather can help you out. Who would you like? Um, home viewer, thanks. Little Claire Hampson. You won't get mum out of the kitchen with this Italian lead crystal glassware and ceramic cookware. Valued at $446 from Corning. 
That's a lovely prize. The money stays hidden as we continue with the questions. Which ology is the science of drugs, their preparation, uses and effects? Len. Pharmacology. Sorry, can you say that again? Pharmacology. I don't think we can accept that because I think it's pharmacology. Okay, yes. Uh, it has been accepted. I apologise there, Len. So, uh, pharmacology, pharmacology has been accepted. The head coach of Australia's swimming team is Don Who. Len. Talbot. Yes. Now, fast money, kids only time here. Only 30 seconds up on the clock. So, here we go. Your time starts. Now, a school fundraising event is the sausage once. Lauren. Sizzle. Yes. Uh, which creature beginning with T eventually grows into a frog? Bree. Tadpole. Yes. Uh, how many kings are in a standard deck of playing cards? Anton. Four. Yes. Uh, My Promise is a hit song for the group No... Mercy. Three. Yes. Uh, which musical instrument is also called the fiddle? Anton. Violin. Yes. Uh, on what part of the body would you usually wear a bracelet? Lauren. Wrist. Yes. Uh, which fraction is half of one half? Anton. 25%. A quarter. Which anagram of ant is a yellowish brown colour? Tan being the answer there. And once again, Len and Anton, you're in the lead. You're in the lead by $10, so you can spend some of that $10 here with Nikki. With 22 leather-bound world book volumes, your entire family will be able to satisfy every curiosity. Discover facts of every type of subject, any famous person or world-breaking events with the Multimedia Encyclopedia. It's normally $1,399. Tonight it's $9 from The Learning Journey and Sale of the Century. This is a wonderful prize. Now, it's a big decision for you to make, Len and Anton. You both have a lead of $10, so the family has a lead of $10. It's going to cost you $9 to buy here. Now, that's a fabulous prize the World Book books. No, thanks. $9, going once. No. Too close? Maybe yes, $8, so. going twice. No. 7 going three times? It's goodbye at $7. Come on, Anton. Not interested? Do you want to buy them? Oh, no, not if you don't want okay. them. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're way out of the running here. Okay. No sale. No sale, which is a bit of pity. Oh, we did have them. a sale surprise, and it was a fantastic uh, prize. Celebrating 20 years of Star Wars is this limited edition collector's jacket and special edition trilogy video pack available in, in stores from next week. It's valued at $479, and we must thank 20th Century Fox yes. Home Entertainment there. So a great package, but uh, all ours stays with us. Uh, today is the 2nd of October, and it was on this day in 1951 that the singer-songwriter Sting, Gordon Sumner, was born. How did he get the name Sting? We'll tell you after the break. Go with the answer to our viewers' question tonight. On this day in 1951, the singer-songwriter Sting, or Gordon Sumner, was born. How did he get the name Sting? It was from the yellow and black striped sweater he used to often wear. That was the answer we needed there. At the moment, we've got a great game happening. Len and Anton on 55, Rod and Lauren on 45, and Rhonda on, and Bree on 25. As we go into the cash box round. The floral emblem of Western Australia is the red and green what paw? Rod. Kangaroo paw. Correct. Police have their hair shaved off to raise money for children's cancer research. Lauren. That's exactly right, and they do a great job too. Cancer research in which annual charity event? Robin Williams starred in the 1982 film based on the John Irving novel, The World According to... Rhonda. Garb. Yes. Cashbox time, and we have a tie, so we're going to have an auction here. The Wiltshires are on 55, and also the Youngs are on 55 as well. Now, we'll auction it down from $15, but $5,000 could go to one of our families, or maybe this great prize. Well, the rugged mountains and ancient rainforests of the world heritage that is Lamington National Park can be all yours for five whole days. Take guided walks, four-wheel drive trips, spotlight wildlife and see the famous glowworms and have all your meals uh, supplied whilst enjoying Queensland's spectacular sunset. Including accommodation and airfares for two, it's valued at $3,172 from O'Reilly's Rainforest Guest, Guest House, Qantas the Spirit of Australia and Sale of the Century. And that's a fabulous holiday, there's no doubt about that. Now you can confer and push the buzzer if you want to. We're going to start at $15. 15 14 13 Either family want to play at 12 11, $10, two questions. And the Youngs are going to give it a go. So Rod buzzing in there. A one in four chance here, Rod and Lauren, for $5,000 cash. So which cash box would you like? Number two. Number two. 
Number, number two, two, Lauren's number call two there, is. I think. So is the $5,000 okay, there? It, oh, it is! Every night so far. That's unbelievable. $5,000 going to Rod and Lauren uh, from the Young family. Are you going to share that with the rest of the family by chance, Lauren? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, congratulations, though. The new scores, Len and Anton on 55, Rod and Lauren on 45, and Rhonda and Bree on 30. As we get back to the questions. Prunus persica is the scientific name of which tree whose fruits rod? Peach. That's right, whose fruit is often canned, particularly its clingstone varieties. Ecuador and Chile are the only South American countries that do not border which len? Brazil. That's correct. Which country? The four chief directions of the compass are known as the what po len? Cardinal points. The cardinal points is correct too. As we go to the fame game for the last time tonight, $25 in the wild card being added, who am I? The son of a Scottish grazier, I was born in 1864 and died in 1941. As a teenager, I worked as a solicitor's clerk and later became a partner in a law firm. But it is in the literary field that I gained widespread acclaim. A war correspondent during the Boer War and an ambulance driver in France during the First World War, I later became a newspaper and magazine editor. Taking my pen name from a racehorse on my family's property, I had earlier published some of Australia's greatest bush ballads, including Clancy of the Overflow and The Man from Snowy River. Andrew Bree. Patterson? I am Banjo Patterson, that's correct. So Andrew Barton Patterson or Banjo. Well, answer Bree, so you get the opportunity, yourself and your mum, uh, to pick from our famous faces and possibly pick up $25. So who would you like? Joe Hall. Joe Hall, lovely lady from National Nine News. And there's $25, taking you up to $55, and only two questions off the lead. Where was the rest of the money, Nikki? The wow card was with Kerry Ann Kennelly, Rick Burnett had the $10, and Edwina Gattenby had the $15. Thanks, Nick. That's where the money was. The Wiltshires are still in the lead on $65, although the Robertsons, two questions behind on $55, and the Youngs, only three questions behind also on $50. So that's how they line up before we go into the final round, the Mad Minute, after this break. So let's find out which of our families is going to go into the semi-finals. Good luck to all three families here. So we're putting 60 seconds up on the clock. Anyone can answer here. Your time starts now. What kind of tree shows a person's ancestry? Anton. Family. Yes. Uh, who is the president of South Africa? Anton. Nelson Mandela. Yes. Uh, with which bodily organ is a cardiologist chiefly can... Oh. Yes. Uh, the AIS is literally the Australian Institute. Sport. Anton. Yes. Uh, to which animal family does the lynx belong? Lauren. Um, leopard. Cats. Uh, what are you doing if having a kip? Len. Having a nap. Yes. Uh, in which state or territory is Cape York Peninsula? Len. Queensland. Yes. Uh, Anna Sewell uh, wrote about the horse named Black Watts. Lauren. Beauty. Yes. How many S's are in the word Celsius? Lauren. One. Two. The term democracy means uh, rule by the Watts. Len. People. Yes. Uh, in which athletic event might you perform the Fosbury Flop? Free. High jump. Yes, on what part of the body might you have a fallen arch? Len. Foot. Yes, complete the saying, make hay while the sun wants. Rhonda. Shine. Yes, uh, what would you usually do with vermicelli? Rod. Eat it. Yes, uh, in which sea are the Netherlands Antilles? The answer there being Caribbean and Len and Anton. The Wiltshires have come through, so congratulations. That's an excellent score too, I hope. Great score. Yeah, well done, well done. Anton. Uh, Rhonda and Bree, sorry, no prizes tonight, but hope you had a good time with us here. It's certainly nice meeting you both, too. Yes, and Rod and Lauren, you have the $5,000 cash card, so well done. Spend Thanks a lot. Well. Pretty happy about that, I think. Great to have you with us, Rod and Lauren. And to both of the families there, we also have this great gift. Our losing family challenges will each receive these unisex Bernard by colour watches. Scratch and water resistant with bracelet style band, they're from Tissot. And each team will receive the latest sale of the Century board game from Crown and Andrews, plus two 18 karat gold plated pins from Shimani Jewelry and Sale of the Century. Congratulations, Anton. Well played there. And Len, come on in Thank too. You. Congratulations to both of you. A very exciting night because tomorrow night is the start of our semi-finals and uh, you're going to be in one of those semi-finals. So let's go shopping. Come on through and have a look here. All right, we've got some wonderful prizes to show you. To start things off, though, what we will do is have a quick look at the prize which you two gentlemen have won by simply winning tonight. So here it is. Our heat-winning family can continue their entertainment in the family home with this 59 centimeter remote control color TV, 3D mini programmable hi-fi system, and G-code hi-fi VCR. They're courtesy of Sanyo. 
So that's a great prize. That's what you've won by winning your, uh, won by winning your heat is what I'm trying to say here. Now, of course, uh, continue on, get to the grand final and win. We've got some fantastic prizes. Firstly, this wonderful travel land trip. Three, two, one, this is liftoff. Your family can experience orbiting the Earth and the unknown as they count down to this seven-night trip to Florida, home of the Cape Canaveral Kennedy Space Center and launching place of American Space Shuttles. With unlimited magic passes to Disney World theme parks, on-site accommodation at Disney's All-Star Sports Music Resort, business class airfares for four flying United Airlines, and $10,000 spending money from ANZ cards, it's from Travelland, the official travel agent of the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. A fabulous trip from Travelland there. You'd love that. Go to Cape Canaveral. Would you like that, Anton? Yep. It'd be fantastic. Now, I know there's one thing which you'd like. It's to drive away in the BMW, oh, that's sir. for sure, Len. Let's have a look at it. Here it is. It will be a family affair to remember when you hit the road in the new 1997 318i. Its youthful styling and solid performance puts the star performer in a class of its own. With unmistakable styling, a generous interior and exciting driving qualities, its fully integrated safety technology gives the entire family complete peace of mind. It's valued at $51,230 from BMW. Sheer driving pleasure. Wonderful BMW, the 318i. That's a lot of fun to drive around in. Now, in total, $2,846 worth of prizes. That's what you've picked up tonight by being with us. Of course, as we continue on, though, uh, who knows, at the end of it, it could be nearly $100,000 you've won. Now, who's joining us tomorrow night, or what's um, happening? Nikki? Well, these guys will be joined by the Stewart's family, the Kane family, and the Mookery family. The Mookerjees will be joining us as well, and the Wiltshires. They're the four families who are making up our semi-final series, and we start the first of our semi-finals tomorrow night. So I hope you'll join us. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. See ya. This program proudly take your buzzers and prepare yourselves for Sale of the Century. Here's which city, the largest in Canada. <laughs> Welcome to semi-final two of the Family Challenge on Sale of the Century. And it's good evening now to Glenn Rich. Good evening, Pete. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello and welcome to Sale on this Monday night. Certainly hope you had a great weekend. And tonight, of course, we're continuing with our family challenge. We have the second of our semi-finals and the winning family tonight goes into the grand final tomorrow night up against the Mukherjee's to find out who our champion family is. Let's get on to it, though, and please welcome Nikki Buckley. Nice to see you, Thank you, and Bo Bear. Oh, hello, Bo. What's mm -hmm. Bo doing here? Because I've got one of these given it is. to me it's as well. It's Bone Marrow Awareness Week, and to tell us more about it, please welcome Deborah Lee Finesse. Oh, fantastic. Yay. G'day, Deborah. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. 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 Tell us about Bone Marrow Awareness Week. Right, it's this week, but this Friday is actually Bo Bear Day. So you can purchase Bo from any branch of the professional's real estate or any. Um, Bone Marrow Donor Institute, we can mm -hmm. bring up the branch. And all the funds raised from Bo enable the Institute to continue research, treatment, care and support of anyone who has leukaemia. It's, so a, great it's a great cause, cause too, yeah. And they're fantastic presents too. Little Coops has got one of these, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a little Bo Bear. They're fabulous. But if you can help out the Bone Marrow uh, cause, by all means do so. And you keep up the good Thanks work with them too. Absolutely. A very busy lady at the moment, Mother's aren't you? director of the Institute, so she's very active and I stay in there too. Good fantastic to everyone. So keep that in mind. Friday is Bo Day. Make sure you grab yourself a bear or even one of the badgers yeah. too and help the bone marrow cause. Good to have you with us, Deborah. Great to be here. Good Look, luck, everyone. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. See you in the see soup. Bye. <laughs> Good to have Deborah Lee Furness with yeah. us too. And please keep that in mind with Bone Marrow Awareness Week. Mm. Now, there are two families over here who are fairly keen to lock horns and find okay. out what's going to happen. Who's with us, Nikki? Okay, well, sacrificing $6,000 cash to take up a semi final position, the stepfather and stepdaughter combination won every fame game, led the entire heat, and together finished with an incredible incredible score of 96. Please welcome our finalists, the Kane family. Hello Campbell and Joe. Nice, nice to see you again. Hi. And uh, this finalist team certainly bridged the grandfather-grandson's generation gap, becoming the only team to score over 100 in their heat. Not buying in any of the gift shops has paid off for these fast money specialists. Please welcome the Wiltshire family. Hello Len and Anton. Great to have you with us too. Now Len, I believe you're right into windsurfing, is that correct? Oh, not so much lately. 
<laughs> it's getting a bit cold for it. <laughs> oh, but during summer you still get out oh, and yes, very active? Yes, now and then, yes. Ah. It's a good spot. Adeline's also, well, was an architectural draftsman, I believe. Oh, I'm still an architectural Are you still draftsman? Are? Yes. My apologies there. I actually, my first job was an engineering yes, draftsman that's too. Right. Yes, hmm. in the public service in Adelaide. Learn how to play canasta and that. Yeah, right. Good on you. <laughs> hey, good luck tonight, Len. Yeah, Thank good you. luck, Len. Now, Anton, tell us about your little run-in with the monkey in Bali. Uh, well, I was walking along with my cousin and my mum, and a monkey grabbed a rock and tried to throw it at us, and it also threw it at a motorbike and then put a pineapple on its head and ran away. Oh, really? <laughs> did it bite you, though? No. Oh, it was on a chair. You. <laughs> you went running in the other direction, did you, Anton? They're a bit cheeky, though. Now, monkeys. you played very well last week, Anton, so good luck tonight to yourself Thank you. and your grandfather there, Len. Yeah, good luck. Campbell, nice to see you again. Thank you. I won't bring up the $6,000 at all, Campbell. Thank you. I'm sure but, someone else will. Well, I'm, sure, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they have. Now, uh, you mentioned last week that you had a, a little bit of Scottish blood in you. Is that correct? More than a little. I was in Glasgow born and bred, but I came here in, uh, in the 50s. I'll say no more now. It'll give me age away. <laughs> <laughs> Being very guarded there. Well, you yeah. played very well last week, Campbell. So good luck tonight. Hope Thank it you. goes well for you. Yeah, good luck, Campbell. Thank now, you. Joe, I believe you enjoy doing a little bit of acting. Yeah. Um... Yes. Yes. <laughs> Have you been in any plays or anything um, like that? Yeah, I do drama at school. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, Is it an ambition to continue and to become an actor? Yeah. Well, good. Good luck with it. <laughs> Hope it goes well for you tonight too, okay. Joe. Did you umpire on the weekend? Yep. Oh, you did. Did you get abused on the weekend? Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> just another Saturday, really, isn't it? OK, good luck, guys. Good luck to all of yeah. our families here. $20 starting money. We're going to get into it. We'll see you in the gift yes, shop. Good luck, everyone. Who is it going to be, the Wiltshires or the Canes, who will be joining us tomorrow night in the grand final? So good luck to both families. First question for the night. Add a letter to oil to make which natural resource that covers much of the Earth's surface? Joe. Soil. Yes. Usually containing attractive pictures or designs to catch people's attention is Joe. Magazines. Is which large printed sheet put up in some public places? Poster. Given to a person aspiring to act in a film, to judge their suitability is a what test? Anton. Uh, screen test. Screen test is correct. Here's a visual question, so have a look at your monitor. This is a still from which part animated action film based, Joe? Toy Story. No, based on a children's book by Roald Dahl, James and the Giant Peach was the name there. Name any of the three Beatles songs which were among the top, telling, top ten selling singles of all time. Campbell. Let it be. No, you wouldn't believe it. I want to hold your hand was number three. Hey Jude was number eight. And Can't Buy My Love, number ten. What type of shoes are blunt stones? Joe. Boots. Correct. Good job time and Len and Anton have been very quiet there but you're in the lead. You have a lead of $10 over Campbell and Joe so Len and Anton you can confer here and possibly buy with Nikki. Well, if there's ever a comet alert near your home, you'll be able to view the entire solar system with this astronomical reflector telescope. Featuring a wide-angle finder scope for locating heavenly objects quickly and easily, it's normally $530 tonight, $6 from Tasco and Sale of the Century. Now, this is a fabulous prize, Anton. Got a little bit of a gleam in your eyes there. <laughs> what about you, Len? Are you interested? The two of you can confer. If you'd like to buy, I'll tell you what, I'll sell it to you for one question. Five dollars. Five dollars. I'm not going to go any lower. Going once. Any money? <laughs> did Grandpa put you up to that? No. <laughs> no, you did it on your own. Oh, well. That's worth something. Don't ask. You don't know, do you? Fifty bucks for you, Anton, if you want to buy it. Five dollars. No. Oh. <laughs> he was after Hundred dollars. Then you can share it with your granddad. Going twice mm. at five dollars. That'll do, Anton. Well, well done. That's <laughs> the call from Nikki. Well done. So, uh, having bought that for five dollars, back to twenty dollars, and still in the lead as we continue with the questions. A term during the Vietnam War for Viet Cong, derived from the radio code for VC, is Victor Watt. Campbell. Charlie. Correct. And we have a tied game. A person who is a know-all is called a what Alec? Anton. Smart. Correct. Thought by some to be derived from the Russian word for quick is what term beginning with B for a small, modest French restaurant? Campbell. Bistro. Yes, and still a tie game on 25 as we go to the first of our fame games tonight. What is our name? We're a band that has only been performing for a few years, but in that time we have taken the world by storm. By the middle of 1996, we've been touring non-stop for 36 months and our popularity had, according to some, equaled that of the Beatles. That year we performed... Oasis. Anton. Oasis. Sorry? Oasis. Oasis is correct, yes. Uh, featuring the brothers Noel and Liam Gallagher. The answer we needed, Anton. 
Didn't know that answer, Len? No. No, no way. <laughs> All right, Anton, you have the opportunity to join with your grandpa here and uh, pick a famous face from the Fame Game board. And tonight, those faces are... 8 o'clock Tuesdays, you're invited to the big day with Jane Hall. Weddings. Larry Emder. The Price is Right. Liz Hayes. 60 Minutes. Kyle Chandler. Uh, early Edition. Shanee Gearan. Shanee comes from Silverdale in New South Wales and her hobbies include little athletics and singing. And it's nice to have you with us, Shanee. Steve Liebman. The Today Show. Katrina Roundtree. Getaway. Michael J. Fox. Spin City. And Denise Drysdale. IMT. So Anton and Len, they're the famous faces. Who would you like? I'm kind of Liz Hayes, please. You certainly can. Good luck. Here's Liz. Walk for miles without leaving your home with this advanced health walker. Valued at $379 from Infinity Health Walker. Nice prize, but not the money. It stays hidden, and what a way to start the game off. $25 a piece. That's round one, and we'll be back shortly with round two. Tonight's right, show is going to the grand final tomorrow night. So good luck to both families. What is the name of the head on a stick on Hey Hey It's Saturday? Joe. Dickie Correct. At Canberra's National Botanic Garden in 1992, which plant was officially declared the floral emblem of Australia? Len. Wattle. More information there, Len. Oh, golden wattle. Golden wattle is exactly what we wanted. Fame game, $15 has been added to the fame game board. Who am I? Born in the early 1960s, I was a reporter for a public access television station when I decided to become an actor. Although I only had minor parts in a number of B-grade movies, such as Return of the Killer Tomatoes, I had great confidence in my ability to gain bigger roles. Along with appearances in several TV series, I featured in the movies One Fine Day, From Dusk Till Dawn, Joe? Michelle Pfeiffer? No. And Batman and Robin. George Clooney. Sorry? George Clooney? George Clooney is exactly right, yes, the answer we needed. Of course, from the hit TV series ER as well. Anton, it's a tied game, so for a possible uh, 10 or $15, who okay. would you like? Michael J. Fox, please. For sure, from Spin City. Be fully protected from the sun's rays with this T-shirt, cap and sunglasses pack. Shades for him and her, valued at $450 from Mako Sunglasses. Good prize as we continue on. The money stays hidden and still a tied game on our hands. Rhyming with ball and dying away rapidly after lasting only a few minutes, Joe? Fall. Sorry? Fall. Fall, no, unfortunately not. Is which sudden strong wind squall? In which exercise is the body raised from a prone position to the full extent of the arms, Joe? Jumping. No, the feet remaining on the ground, push-up or press-ups. Fast money, now Anton and Joe in it on their own. At the moment, Anton on 30, Joe on 20. 30 seconds up on the clock and your time starts... Now, beginning with C is which popular American term for lollies? Anton. Andy. Yes, so your finest clothes are called your Sunday what? Joe. Clothes. <laughs> Best. Uh, nursing pioneer was Florence who? Joe. Nightingale. Yes, uh, the Yeti is also called the abominable what? Snowman. Anton. Yes, uh, which city held the last Summer Olympic Games? Anton. Atlanta. Yes, uh, how many legs has a spider? Joe. Eight. Yes, uh, which country has the most people? Joe. China? Yes, uh, magic is sometimes divided and a good battle there, but Anton coming out in front there. So Anton and Len both in the lead. You have a lead of $15 over Campbell and Joe and you have $45 to spend here with Nikki. Yes, now when the family takes their annual camping trip this year with this gear, there will be no such thing as roughing it anymore. Comprising a large pinnacle tent, hooded sleeping bags and practical travel packs, these luxury outdoor leisure products designed for the Australian camper are normally $1,225 Tonight they're just $9 from Sportiva and Sale of the Century. And this is a great prize, uh, Len and Anton. If you want to buy, we'll make it quick, $9. Less than two questions. Going once, no. I'll throw in a couple of hundred dollars cash, matching what I did earlier. Going twice, fairly determined. Len, you don't want to have any input into this? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Going three times, no sale. So there you go. No sale, so the scores remain the same. Now, today is the 6th of October. Here's a question for the viewers at home, and you can join in here. Thank you. Born on this day in 1906 was the American actress who, in 1929, won the first Best Actress Oscar for her roles in the films Street Angel, Sunrise and Seventh Heaven. Who was she? We'll tell you after this break. We've got a great game on our hands here at the moment. Len and Anton, the Wiltshires, are on 45. Campbell and Joe, the Canes, are on 30. As we go into the cash box rounds. 
Premiering in the US on August 1st, 1981, was which TV channel the world's first 24-hour music video network? Anton. MTV. Sorry? MTV. Yes. The Islamic Republican Party was founded in 1979 to bring about the Islamic Revolution in which Southwest Asian nation? Campbell. Iran. Correct. The Order of the Thistle is an order of knighthood founded in 1687 in which country of the British... Scotland. Land? That's right, Scotland. Campbell, where are you? That was the answer we needed. Cashbox time and Len and Anton, you're in the lead. You're on $55. You have a lead of $20 over Campbell and Joe. Now, if you want to play, you could pick up $5,000 cash or maybe this great prize. Inspired by the 1957 Academy Award nominated animation short, What's Opera Doc? This limited edition cell is signed by the very cell creator and famous director Chuck Jones and depicts the cartoon's hilarious ballet scene. Together with authenticity certificate, it's valued at $1,698 from Warner Brothers Studio Store and sale of the century. And that's a great prize, and it's also great to have Bugs from Warner Brothers Studio Stores from all around Australia too. Nice to have you with us, Bugs. All right, Len, Anton, there's the $5,000. If you want to play, it's going to cost you $15. Totally up to you. If you'd like to give it a go. Uh, no. Not interested? Luck's not very good. No? Luck's you sure about that? Yep. Okay, don't want to play? All right, no playing. Now, if you did decide to play, which machine, or sorry, which box would you ask Nikki to open for you? Uh, one. You would go for box number, number one. one. Uh, okay, let's have there, a look, Nikki? Anton. Number one. Oh, oh it's, it's the, the prize. prize. So you would have missed out on the prize. Where was the money, though, Nick? Tonight, number three. Number it. three was where the $5,000 was. So nothing changes. Uh, the Wiltshire's on 55 and the Cane's on 35 as we continue. Associated with disturbances of the Earth's magnetic field are which irregularly shaped dark patches on the surface of the sun? Campbell. Sunspots. Yes. After Edward VIII renounced the British throne to Mary Wallace Simpson, the couple moved to a large house in which city? Len. Paris. Correct. As the term suggests, a fear of what is called aerophobia or Len? Flying. That's correct, yes, or aviatophobia. Fun game, last chance tonight to pick some money up off the board. $25 in the wild card has been added, so who am I? Born into a poor family in 1946, I took the name of my stepfather and, as a gifted student, studied law and attended Oxford University on a Rhodes Scholarship. A professor of law, I served two years as State Attorney General and for a time was a member of a private law firm before again standing for public office. Elected five times as State Governor, it is only since I took a higher post that my wife and I have been the subject of allegations of controversial and sometimes illegal practices. Winning my first US presidential election, uh, Campbell. Clinton. I am Bill Clinton, that's correct. Uh, first US presidential election in 1992. Now, a very important uh, choice here, Campbell and Joe. You can confer. $25 will make it a tied game as we go into the Mad Minute. So, who would you like? Sinead Gearan. She's in a little athletics. I'm pretty involved in it, so I want to go for her. Good luck, Sinead. Get rid of Mum and Dad for the weekend to your nearest Hilton Hotel. With breakfast, champagne and late checkout, valued at $480 from Hilton International. Pretty nice prize, you'll enjoy yeah. that. Uh, but where was the money though, Nikki? Well, the wild card was with Denise Drysdale, Larry Emder had the $10, Katrina Roundtree had the $15 and Jane Hall had the $25. Thanks, Nick. So that's uh, that and all that's remaining is the Mad Minute. And of course, at the end of the Mad Minute, we'll decide which of our families tonight will be going into the grand final tomorrow night in this afternoon family challenge on sale of the century. Dad and grandson team of Len and Anton Wiltshire in the lead on 65 and the stepdad and stepdaughter team of uh, Campbell and Joe Kane on $40. So good luck to both of the families. This is the deciding round. All is in there. So 60 seconds up on the clock and your time starts now, in which country is the city of Barcelona? Joe. Spain. Yes, a large department store chain is K. Watts. Len. Kmart. Yes, uh, with which of the arts do we most associate Edgar Degas? Len. Lighting. Yes, in population, what is Australia's second largest city? Joe. Melbourne. Yes, a current uh, nine network police series is Murder Watts. Joe. Cool. Yes, how many points has the star of David? Joe. Six. Yes, uh, England's two most famous universities are Oxford and Campbell. Cambridge. Yes, uh, to which animal family does the zebra belong? Joe. Horse. Yes, uh, children's characters are bananas in Watts. Joe. Pajamas. Yes, in which month to Lynn? Sorry. September. Which American city is abbreviated to NYC? Joe. New York. Yes, uh, what would you usually do with a persimmon? Anton. Oh, use it. 
Eat it. In which sport might you apply the body scissors to someone? Campbell. Wrestling. Yes. A very tall office building is called a sky once. Sniper. Yes. Uh, which country is home to the Maori people? Anton. New Zealand. Yes. And uh, Campbell and Jive come to a one, but what a game. $185. And what a great battle between both of the families there. For the Canes coming from behind and uh, the victors are going into the grand final. Very well done. Now, Lynn and Anton, you're not going away empty handed. You've done very well. You have the beauty products, the glassware and cookware, the telescope, the health walker, the t shirt, cap and sunglasses, and cash $2,158 worth. So well done. And it's been fabulous having you with us uh, on the series. I certainly hope you've enjoyed yourself. And Lynn and Anton Peter also has these gifts for you. Yes, Glenn, the Wiltshire family can challenge their own family and friends in the ultimate home competition with the latest board game from Crown and Andrews and their each receive our 18 karat gold plated pin from Shimani Jewelry and the sale of a century. Congratulations, Joe. Well played, Campbell. Well played, Steve. That Thank was you. a fantastic family effort. Certainly coming from behind there in the fast money, Joe played extremely well. Okay. So let's go shopping. Uh, it's getting very exciting here. So you're into the grand final. Come on up and have a look at a couple of things. Now, by winning tonight and playing extremely well as a family, too, you've picked up this wonderful prize. Tonight's semi-final winners can connect their home to an expanding world of new ideas, information and possibilities with this family computer. With an Intel 166 MHz Pentium processor, fax, modem and stereo capabilities, it's from Packard Bell. So that's yours, that's a wonderful prize, I'm sure you'll love that. And also, of course, tomorrow night, uh, the winning family, it could be you two, will be picking up this fantastic prize from Travelland. Three, two, one, this is liftoff. Your family can experience orbiting the Earth and the unknown as they count down to this seven-night trip to Florida, home of the Cape Canaveral Kennedy Space Center and launching place of American space shuttles. With unlimited magic passes to Disney World theme parks, on-site accommodation at Disney's All-Star Sports Music Resort, business class airfares for four flying United Airlines and $10,000 spending money from ANZ cards, it's from Traveland, the official travel agent of the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. That's a wonderful prize from Travelland. Now, Campbell, you've obviously been overseas. You came yes. from Scotland. What about you, Joe? No, I've never been overseas. Well, you'd love that to Kennedy Space Centre. It's a wonderful trip. Um, and also, I'm sure you will love, and you, you'll love driving, you'll love riding in it for the time being anyhow, this fabulous BMW. It will be a family affair to remember when you hit the road in the new 1997 318i. Its youthful styling and solid performance puts this star performer in a class of its own. With unmistakable styling, a generous interior and exciting driving qualities, its fully integrated safety technology gives the entire family complete peace of mind. It's valued at $51,230 from BMW. Sheer driving pleasure. So there's the BMW. Come over. That's going to a family tomorrow night. Now, in total, $6,086 worth of prizes. That's what I picked well up done, tonight. Yeah. So played extremely well. Congratulations there. Now, tomorrow night we have the Mukherjee's will be joining us. Uh, and, of course, the Canes will be battling it out to find out who our champion family is on the Family Challenge. It's been a great Very series, Very exciting. Hasn't it has been wonderful. Hope you'll join us tomorrow night at the same time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Yay. See ya. Television production for the Nine Network Australia. Peter Smith speaking.